Okay, let's just burn everything down. Destroy the whole Beautiful. ecosystem. Some twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted. Well observed. Groot says the plants here are all mean or Oh, I thought he was like mad at me for destroying the plants, but no. I have a bad feeling about this. Why are we doing this? I mean, we need to survive, sure. Okay. Thanks for getting your approval, uh, Groot. Holy crap, there are so many of those plants. senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. Though we are clearly still being stalked by the snow beasts. They ain't exactly subtle. Wendigo! Well, that confirms it. To Captain Heatglob. Where are you all going? <laughs> yeah, I think we've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. Oh, it's With very nowhere preferable. and contracts you're wrecked. All of our favorite drinking holes are gone. Mostly, yeah. Wait, that's that's an arena. <laughs> What's on the other side then? There's something there. Oh god, I'm dying. Why am I dying? Oh, because of that. Holy crap, look at my health. I am... Near death. No, there is something there. Try the defrost cycle. Defrost cycle? I already know how to kill those things. It's okay. The stinger outfit. Ooh, looking sharp. Why is this... Why was that photo so low res? Okay. Here we go. Look, Will, it's your new best bud. It's a white one. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. A black one. Plasma shots deal damage over time to their target. They are especially effective against enemies with a lot of health points. Okay. Oh god! Oh, that one is dead already! Uh oh, there's a new one coming. Nice job, Drax. I have a sweet to the threat. Return to the skirmish. Appreciate the help, you proved unworthy. God damn it. Where'd it go home? <laughs> Get it? Clever work, Peter Quill. Ooh, everyone, nice. Past time someone got stabbed. Cut it free, Gamora. Ouch. Ah, a good 
white warms the blood. Or you could try a sweater. Don't expect them to say much more than Wendigo! I am trying to destroy! Here we go. Another one down. The teamwork is impeccable. No doubt these beasts serve as sustenance for food. Not today, they don't. I'm ready. I need nothing. Anyone else? Oh, one left. I the miss finishing touches on the angry snow ape. There's only room for what? Okay, I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. When'd they go? Is that really what we're calling them? I hey, guess they're so. They're the ones who keep yelling when they go. That's true. Uh oh. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Is there another big one? Do we need to the fight it? Bender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Oh. Hello. So much for not holding a grudge. Fork off. Okay, so they're not coming down, they're just throwing rocks at us, okay. Alright. What do you think, Quill? They still just trying to communicate! They just hurt us into their shoe? Looks more like the dinner plate. Well, let's make sure we don't end up on the menu. Can we kill any faster <laughs> We really should have dressed in lairs. Ah. This is how it's done. Nice job. Send it their way, Drax. Thing. That thing was freaking nasty. Nice. That was great. Ah. Oh, the Wendigos are here as well. Nice. My butt still hurts from that slide. That ain't the pain in the ass I'm worried about right now. I have tenderized. Here we go. Okay. Oh, those small fries are so annoying. I'm not the only one who can land in this weather. Ouch! Not to mention those Wendigos. Ouch! Ouch! What? Is this a big Wendigo? Oh god, it's a black and white Wendigo. Okay, but it's just one. It's just one monster. Okay, no, there are multiple. Um, 
Uh, do something. God. I can't believe those snow monkeys got the jump on us. Now it is I who will jump on them. Turn them off, Gamora. This reminds me of our monster hunt in the prohibited area. I think you mean the quarantine zone. Punch him up! Prepare yourself, Steve! You can admire him later! Squawk him! <laughs> Gamora! Gamora is down! How did that happen? I hope we squash some of these sparkers when we crash! Direct combat is far more honorable! Ouch! <laughs> yes! Bring me more! Don't wear yourself out before the main event, big guy! You're up, big guy! Are you guys gonna load on that wreck ship? See? I'm not the only one who can land in this weather! Okay, wonderful. Rocket, do something. Here we go! Finish her! No, we're killing them left and right. No wonder. Leader, we should leave us alone now. Or seek revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. Oh, please. It's probably the least dangerous thing on this planet. All right, group, give me a boost. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Groot knows what he means. Why are we getting to the smoke thing? Are we really hoping that there might be people who are willing to help us? It's this Dastin ice planet. Or you have lice again. All right, heads up. I'm going to drop something down for you guys. No beasts whet my appetite. I am eager to slay the great Fin Fang Foom. Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. We'd better not get stranded out here. This is deadly. <laughs> we can always burn Groot. Rocket! What? He used to do it for me all the time. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the same. Could be. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a fun house of razor blades. Great speech. But I'm not worried. We face meteors, poison zit cats, and abominable snowmen. When to go? Right. Exactly. I'd back this team against anything. Including Fin Fang Foo. Right. Except not. Because we're not killing him! <laughs> Good thing that you mentioned it again, because I think uh, we have uh, more things to worry about when we meet Fing Fang Foom. It smells of bodies. Jeez. They're all dead? Is all this Foom? Undoubtedly. They say Fin Fang Foom is a foe, unlike any. One could imagine. I mean, he's basically a dragon from the fairy tales on Earth. Ridiculous. This is not some Terran tale of fairies. He's a great reptilian beast, gifted with flight and a rage so hot he breathes fire. Right. My mistake. It can spew flames. Oh boy. A survivor. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for Foom. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. 
or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. You've still got some things to pack up. God, what happened here? Why did Foom attack you? Sorry about your men. Meh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? Oh. What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah. Seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, oh, yeah? If you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. How are you gonna fly back to Contraxia without a ship? I mean... Your ship is broken, right? Don't take this the wrong way, but how did you survive the attack? I wasn't hiding, if that's what you mean. It wasn't. I was getting no supplies shame in from hiding. my ship. Showed up just in time to see Foom devour the last of my men and fly off. At least there's not much left to pack up. Suppose there's that. No shame in hiding when in peril situations. Oh, a workbench. Oh, very convenient. I have one May as well last put it to perk. Good use, right? They ain't using it. That I need to get this one. Doing, doing, done. And now we don't need to care about components anymore, right? <laughs> Is that right? God, I. Silver Quill Punch is a strong melee finisher that will grant extra health drops when landed successfully. Dash toward an enemy with F. What? With F? Upon connecting, press C. You receive extra health, health drops. I can dash with F? How did I not know about this? Wait. Okay, I cannot dash right now. Uh, rocket. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. Hmm, you need to ask the lady, I think. Drax, are you okay? Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use, to herald our bravery this day shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Foom may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Hmm. Our penultimate conquest. Sounds good. Oh god, look at the claw marks. Wait, this one is smaller than the first one that we saw. I, I just said we don't need to care about components anymore, but I'm still picking them up. I don't know why. Groot, seeing anything interesting here? Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I Groot. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Is that what he said? <laughs> wow. But we don't see the dragon thingy at all. It's probably hiding.
Hey, these people don't have that tentacle thing. They have like coral reef thing on their heads. Uh, yeah, that's the claw mark. Foom claw marks. Immeasurable size. Lovely. Is there anything else here? Gamora? What is this thing? That is a tent? Okay. Is there something else to explore? Oh! I can go through there, I think. Alright, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Tripper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Okay. Whoa! Take heed! The ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! Ah! Oh, we're splitting up! We're splitting up! You lost your fork and mine! Come on! Oh, we're back it's together. It's incredibly dangerous. It's actually kind of fun! It is fun. Hey, kind of. We need our deaths to be mused. <laughs> Woo! Whoa! I am accelerating. <laughs> the game can't keep up. Uh, my my PC cannot keep up with the game. Well, that okay. takes care of the getting down part. Or how we're gonna get Foom up there? Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. <laughs> I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and boom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. Foom is the sled. Wendigo is, is dogs. Not sure if they want to, if they would agree to such a thing. He's got a knack for wrecking stuff. Don't we all? Except maybe Groot. Yeah. Ooh, Katathian monk outfit. That looks awesome. Hey, Drax, you're not naked anymore. I mean, shirtless. Looks good on you. He must think we're a bunch of psychopaths. Nah, he sees us as fertile soil he's cultivating into something beautiful. Oh, you did too, you big cheese ball. Okay, you take the left, I'll take the right. I didn't think it could get any colder. Oh, you did? Thank you. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom, come and face your death. What Not you death. We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Yeah. Me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. <laughs> Go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's nap time! <laughs> Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Oh, uh, wait, what? Yeah, we're not doing that! <laughs> <laughs> disrobe, okay. No, 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 we're not protected against the cold like you are, Drax. Any last film stories, Drax? They say the great beast has one weakness. 
You're telling us now. It was said that Fin Fang Foom is helpless before the friendship of five brave warriors. Aw, he's Aww. talking about us. Certainly not. It is a band of Sakaran hunters. Oh. Oh. Ha! Of course it is us of whom I speak. Ah. <laughs> okay. When did Drax become so not He's literal? Be ready for anything. Is there something here? This looks like a good spot for hiding some secret, but nope, it's just some skeletons. Undefined skeletons of enormous size. Prepare yourself, Fin Fang Foom. You oh, face that's your a final skull. moments. Not final. Capture alive. That is what I meant. His final moments before captivity. Should we take his knives just to be safe? Nocturnal eviscerator. Animal remains. So the fight awaits us behind that thing. Oh, that's the big eyes thingy. So, uh, where is he? Maybe we spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Oh. It is a dragon. No purple shorts. But very majestic. Fing Fang Fu. There's no way back. By beating him into submission. We're gonna have to get through that ice armor first. Prepare yourself, fool. You face Captain Heat Bomb. Nice boom! Easy boom! Not so invincible after all! Okay. His armor is down. Ouch! Okay. I cannot get too close to the icicles. Whoa. That's two! You are the Bane of Ice, Peter Quill! See? Bane of Ice isn't such a bad nickname! Here we go. Boom, baby! How you like us now? His opinion does not appear to have improved. Oh, it, it's got a helmet. Oh, damn. Ice helmet. Hope Hellbender appreciates we're going to all this trouble. The Beast will make a fine apology. Not so hot now, okay. are you, Foo? Here we go. Hey, you overgrown lizard! Looks like he just did! Uh-oh. Run! That was too close! Oh! Good thinking! Muscles! Get through the head! He thinks you two can refund that rock right at the bottom. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Holy! Okay, how do I how do I distract him? I distract with this? His own might will be his undoing! Not sure how I distract a giant dragon. Feel free to give up, boom! Who would never shame himself with surrender? I cannot do anything. He's stuck! He's stuck! 
Which means what exactly? Is he talking to us or boom? Oh! Oh! Hope this makes you square with Hellbender! Oh, can Drax not do something with these icicles? No? Really? Okay, maybe not. Hellbender's got all the minions you can eat! Ouch! Fighting a dragon! Is he talking to us or Boom? Oh! Oh, maybe Drax can get the big one. So much for going quietly! Okay, never mind. No. Somehow Groot is doing something. Oh, Drax! Oh, nice! Drax and Groot! That's amazing! Okay, everyone! Oh, what? Come on, Gamora! Great winds would make for invigorating flight! Oh, rocket is down, unfortunately. Suppose we had so cool as I originally suggested. Okay, Drax. Okay. You have to pick our next money-making scheme. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Refreshing. So much for going quietly! I can't believe we're fighting a dragon! Oh, both Drax and Rocket are down. Okay, we need to huddle. Guys, huddle up! He says we're totally outmatched. We need to retreat. And as much as I don't want to admit it, Groot's got a point. The no odds retreat are totally against today. us here, Quill. We don't back down. I don't care about the odds. I laugh in the face of gods. We're here, and we're ready to fight. So let's get back out there and light up the night with those creeps. Who's with me? Victory is ours! We are! You said... Yeah! <laughs> Oh, Rocket can do something. I got your claw. My great strength goes underutilized. Damn it. Come on, Boom. You like such a time. Hellbender's got all the minions you can eat. That does not do anything, does it? Yeah. Ah, I can't. I'll never but dodge that thing. With we are a giant pet dragon. Okay, okay, let's do your thing again then. Ah. Okay, Drax, you get to pick our next money making scheme. Oh! Nice, Groot and Drax together, yes! I can't believe we're fighting a dragon! Let's do it! Now's our chance to do some real damage! Oh, yes! Gamora! 
do your thing. Feel free to give up, boom! Yeah, play nice and we'll go easy on you. Are we even making a dent? Flesh does not dent! We seem to be making him matter! So that's progress! Uh, not sure if that's progress or not. Yo! Okay. The ice isn't tracking you, big baby. He's trying to eat us. Ah! I can't believe we're fighting a dragon. Oh, the Drax is down. This is bad. Who's gonna launch the thing? Dash Feel free to give isn't up, fast bro. enough. Hey now, Rocket! What's wrong, Boom? Feeling exposed? <laughs> oh, both. Gamora is also down? Look at him struggle! Like, what the heck? Ouch. Rocket, do something. Do your thing! I can't believe we're fighting a dragon! Ah, and can never dodge that attack. Dad. Free to give up, boom! Yeah, play nice and we'll go easy on you. God damn it. Heal! Oh my god, I can't believe I can hear them. Ah! Gamora! Groot! No, 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 we need Groot and Drax at the very least. Nothing some water and fresh soil will fix. Thanks, Quill. Groot says he owes you one. Push down the smart ball. Suppose we had some food as I read. Don't pop it in. Okay. Now another another um hailstorm. Cold. Yes, like the big one. On the beast is most dangerous when at its most desperate. We must not fail. Come on, everyone. Drag Scrooge. Here we go. We gotta fight fire with fire. Let her loose. I do hope we didn't kill it. <sighs> yes. We stand triumphant! Foom has fallen! Uh, what are those? Move! Nearly yeah. helmet are- Oh, rocket! Oh, 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 hold on! No, 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 wait, 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 no! No! Lady Helmet! Drag stop! Guys! Wait, guys, no! Lady Hellbender, we want to help. Nobody escapes my rack, floorboard. Well, that's to be expected. Monster Queen of Seknarf 9, you said you'd hear him out! Promised. Mantis. <laughs> speak. I hope this is the one where you make a good speech. 
God. <laughs> Way to put pressure on me, Mantis. We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. Yikes. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! It's not dead, is it? What? This is new. finally brought the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. I could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see Enough. It. I will gather my forces. The whole galaxy is All at right. stake, Let's go. lady. So... We shouldn't be in your debt. You should help us. Just like that. <laughs> the noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Have you found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate? We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock, and we'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. I'm good. We still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <coughs> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tunes. My Walkman? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. What are you gonna do with my tunes? Mantis? What happened on the Mantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. Alright, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. God, the but French. at some point, someone says my name, and then 
There's a little bit of pee. <laughs> what? I want to know that. Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Mantis, what happened? Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but now I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? <laughs> um... Lamentus, what happened on Lamentus after we left? What happened on Lamentus after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you're able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. Hmm, okay. And why did you bring Lady Hellbender here? How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Whew, that was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe, and she believed you? Oh, no, not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Oh. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? <laughs> I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good. Because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. Whoa, what? whoa. <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. <laughs> I love Mantis. But, um... Yeah, like everyone else dying is not enough for Lady Hellbender. When, only when her monsters die, that is crossing a line. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. I can't believe Warlock... Nice move there, Drax. If Lost. I put my weight on my left foot, I have much better control over my right hook. People always underestimate proper footing technique. Well, focusing on the upper body alone is the mark of an amateur. Exactly. Weight distribution is crucial, especially with melee weapons. Pop Morgoth's breath, you are correct! Hey, now is the bonding over fighting techniques. Oh, Groot, you're watering your plants. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> what? What? What do you say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier. <laughs> the Grand Humidity. I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> the joke kinda <laughs> is uh, lost in translation. 